Okay, so, ah, happy Labor Day. Today is a day off for me. Okay, so I just want to say I'm getting some new, like, love romance cards in. So, if they come in today, I'll go ahead and do a love reading. But I'm going to start with, let's start with the wheel. Okay, let's see what could be coming in here. Okay, we're doing Leo today. Woo! Okay. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Okay. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo. Okay. Been getting that song, um, Pleasure Principle. That's why I was like, maybe that's a Leo reading. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what all that is. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where are we uh, distracting ourselves from what's really important? Okay. What triggers a worry, stress, or anxiety spiral for us? Okay, what triggers a worry, stress, or anxiety spiral for us? Now that came up yesterday with stress management. Okay, and here it is again today. Okay, so it's asking you to ask that question. And so you can get to the root of the cause of things. Okay, all right, so let's keep going. Bake for a cause. Raise money for a worthy cause and have fun baking. Try to come up with two or three different goods you can make as a family. They don't have to be fancy. Everybody likes chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Host a bake sale on your block or ask permission to set up a park or in front of a store. Okay, now that's interesting because... All right, hold on, I gotta turn on extra light. All right, now... <laughs> okay, so, all right, so, um, that sounds like a wholesome thing to do, okay, but for some reason, I got Marilyn Manson bake sale. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, let me get tarot on that. What is that about? Okay, strength. Okay, so I feel like it's like, okay, um, finding pleasure in what you do, but also it's like, um, Okay, so it's like, you could, okay, so there's like a solo, there's the solo side, right? There's the solo side, and then there's the group side. And I feel like, um, though you are doing what you're creating is solo, I feel like you ha enjoy more, woo, in collaborations. Okay, now, if it's talking about love, oh, I see what that is. Okay, now you have... Venus uh, retrograde. So what it's saying is, um, even if you're doing some sort of project and enjoying solo, if you want to be with someone from a past life, right, or is someone you had, um, you vibed with, 
uh, they're suggesting now would be a great time with that Venus retrograde. Okay, so that's like some sort of past life supportive energy coming in. Okay, so now would be the time for that. Now, if you want to uh, try for someone new, um, would you have the energy, though, to entertain both? I don't know, because it looks like you give a lot to work. Okay. Of course, uh, you know yourself more than anybody. Okay, so I'm getting a couple of things. Now, for some of you, whoever that person is, you even, uh, you even thought about marriage with them. Okay, now for some of you, there was a past life person that you had a marriage with and it didn't go out so well okay now this is the lovers reverse now for some of you this is a libra that uh you don't think so highly of okay and um but there is some sort of love story trying to unfold and yesterday there was a card with someone looking into the window and there was like oh here's a caterpillar and um and butterflies okay so um, let me get a card on that uh, Libra could have been some sort of severing energy okay okay so all right so there it's work related okay There will be some sort of completion with that. Now, for some of you, if there was contracts in the past with them, there was some sort of severance. And then, um, it's kind of a tricky energy. But what they want is success, okay? And they haven't been communicating so positively is what I want to say now for some of you this is um, you left one and went towards another and you're you're building uh, with someone else this is seen as a marriage here okay all right and what about that anytime you connect with another person there's always something right Okay, so here's Five of Swords Reverse. Okay, so communication is the key to success there and also the new cycle. Okay, like open communication, but I don't, I feel like for some reason I feel like it's the other person. They don't have, they don't communicate the way you do openly. Yeah, this is a soulmate. And recently, they could have had something that happened with the Gemini. This is um, Sagittarius, polar opposite is Gemini. They could have had something with a Gemini. And they had to go within. They're an emperor type. They're trying to muster up their magic, but they've been doing manipulating and all kinds of things like that. Okay, now, I feel like it's saying make a clean break. Yeah, but because of the Venus retrograde, the pool is wanting to return to them. But this is the walking away card. Okay, but the pool, because of the Venus retrograde, is wanting to come back. Okay, now that could be love or work. Yeah, here's a Capricorn energy. That's what I was feeling. Okay, the suggestion is to let go. And look for new things to come in. Even if Three of Pentacles reversed, it feels like it won't work without them. That's an illusion, and they've got more tricky things on the way. Yeah. 
It's hidden, High Priestess. Let's look at this victory card. Okay, so I feel like that's what it's saying. If you go in another direction other than with them, I feel like you'll have greater success. Yeah, it's like in and out, in and out. Yo-yo energy, five of cups. And there's no love there, five, five of cups. This is for the work thing. Yeah, they have anger issues too, that man. Yeah, it's saying to move where your love and passion is. Focus on that. Here's the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Let's clarify that. I see what it's saying. It doesn't matter how much compassion sometimes you have for people and love. That's the strength card. That's the other strength. We're not, the strength card isn't always about physical strength. Sometimes the strength is having compassion where it's called for. And Sometimes it doesn't matter how much compassion you give to somebody due to their upbringing. They just, um, it's like they're programmed to be a certain way and not change in one lifespan. Interesting. Ten of Cups. Whatever, I feel like what this is saying is your work life is, um, you keep putting your work life um, in the forefront. Okay, and there is somebody that you've been dreaming with, could be a sheep sign, okay, because that came out twice. And... Um, and I feel like this is suggesting that's where your fun place is, right? This is where the fox it has the belly showing and has so much trust. So it's someone you trust, whoever this is, it's suggesting to open, um, open those pathways more. Woo! And I feel like what that is saying is that love energy that you focus on, um, within your connections, personal connections, that will be like the light or the light of guidance towards your other work endeavors. It's like it illuminates everything else. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, did we read all the cards down here though? Let's see what all this is. Okay, yeah, we had King of Swords came out. King of Cups. Yeah, this is saying uh, communicate well, but also move with your heart. Align that mind with the heart. And that will, with the past life person, how can I communicate my need for space without you feeling hurt? Hmm. 
feel like this is for a man. All right, let me get a card on that. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Those are the angels. Okay. Spend time in nature. Whoever this resonates with. Spend time in nature. Raise your vibration through internal connection with the pure energy. And heal... Okay, so if you had a past connection where you didn't have trust or they broke your trust, that could affect relationships now into the future. So every person is a new person. They're not that person of the past. So you have to treat them like such, not the person of the past that's in this new person. Okay, something like that's coming up. Alright, so work on trust issues and letting that go fully, once and for all. And it may be subconscious if it's coming up here. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, how do we ensure our health care needs are covered now and in the future? Okay, so let's back up for a minute. So that would be like, yeah, I'm fine. I married this new person and everything's great. And, and uh, you know, so I, and it's like all lip service. I forgave my past person who cheated on me. and um, But really, it, the wounds haven't been healed. It's suppressed, pushed down. Okay, so it's like bring that up through walks with nature, communing with spirit. And then fully releasing and healing. Okay. How do we ensure our healthcare needs are covered now and in the future? Okay. Okay, so that may be of interest for some of you. How should I approach you if I feel you're compromising on your health? Okay, so see if you overwork, right? If you, oh, okay, I see what they're saying. If you overwork and then someone does some bad habit, like um, you want to lead by example, that's what I feel like it's saying. Two of Wands. Okay, taking the steps, the first steps towards the things that uh, will bring you true joy. Are there any health challenges that you haven't shared with me? Okay, so there's a health. That's interesting. I associate health stuff with Virgo energy. So this could be like Leo Virgo cusping. You did get the hermit card. Okay. So health could be on your mind. Well, sometimes, um, well, for some people don't like going to doctors, I feel like you could try a, a naturopath, naturopath, nature path, natural, uh, you know, but that could be like snake oil to some people. So if you feel more confident about getting a checkup, just go get a checkup up and then I feel like your mind will be eased. Describe your relationship with your parents, grandparents, and siblings. Okay. Sometimes talking about stuff can bubble things up. Who do you see yourself surrounded by when you're old and gray? Is it that person you're with? Okay. Or is it that person you've been dreaming about for some of you who are single? 
Is it practical? That's I don't know why I'm getting that, but is it practical? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so maybe uh, checkups, right, to feel better and um, to put your mind at ease for some of you. Okay. Guidance is golden. Ooh, it's safe to love, isn't it? Okay, I'll leave you with that.